Hey folks, that fix it guy here. I had a friend ask me if I could help him with a little bit of a water issue. We talked through some troubleshooting techniques. He went and he found this in the crawl space. So now that the problem is found, the problem needs repaired. So come along, let's get to fixing. Okay, so we pop the cover off the water meter and you see this little faucet right here that has a drip, this little symbol, if that is on when nothing else in the house is running, that means you've got some kind of a water leak. All right, so here we go. We are getting into a crawl space. All right. Let's start making our way back here. You're getting down to do some crawl space work. I recommend old clothes and knee pads. All right. Old clothes and knee pads. Let's see what we got here. All right. So that's what we got. We got some CPVC leaking here somewhere. We just don't know where or what. It's a... Uh... Just gotta move this on out of our way. Oh. Fast. Oh, it's leaking fast. Okay, so if you look right there, that's where our pipe break is. And it's been leaking up, it's been leaking down, it's saturated the wood there. They're gonna wanna get this dried out a little bit, but we should be able to shut the water down, cut this out, and put something new in there. Okay. Okay, you guys wanna see one of my biggest problems with this place, right, is we're looking for this flow guard gold medium yellow stuff. And there's one of those right there. But if you're in a rush, man, and you just grab the can next to it, well, guess what, man? You're getting a freaking can of clear cleaner. You'd get home and you would be really upset because that is not in the right box. Okay, so now that we know where the leak is, we need to shut this water off. We could have shut it off of the house, but the house valve actually leaks. So we just come to the meter. I also brought over this little blower fan. It's like a little air mover, right? It's very good. It's going to uh, dry out that wood very quick like. Oh yeah, they cover up their hose bibs. That's what I like. Double protection, right? This is a frost-free hose bib. Probably doesn't need to have this on it, but better safe than sorry. So, We'll get this water draining out of here. Okay, you wanna open everything up, all right? Just make sure everything's there, everything's draining. We're going to the lowest point of the house. As we've got this back here a little ways, we're gonna chop right here. We're gonna put a coupling. We are going to chop up there. We're gonna put a 90, and we're just gonna bring all this down and we're gonna tie it together, okay? We brought a bucket down here to make sure that we catch any water that hasn't already left. We've drained the whole house. I got some ratcheting cutters. These are actually by Raptor. I bought them at the Ferguson Supply House, but these are awesome whenever it comes to cutting things, right? Ratcheting, instead of having to do all muscle and hand, you can just ratchet your way to success here. And now, see about let's just start right here start with this one get this cut right here make sure that hits our bucket so we know it's leaking right up here right close to this 90 right there so we can just cut back a little bit after that. 
it's going to be fine but there's a couple rough edges on this pipe so i'm actually just going to take it back here where everything is smooth and seems to be okay all right And with a nice sharp cutter like this, brand new, it makes that real easy. Get that out of that talon. We're gonna reuse that talon. Okay, so sometimes if you have a bunch of water, like this continues to drip and it won't stop dripping. Well, we gotta do something with that. So what we can do here is take a 90, you don't have to glue this and just put that right on the end of that. That way, you have somewhere where you can come right over here and blow, all right? And we're gonna blow and hopefully we can get some water coming out of that. Now at this particular angle, it might get us a little wet. So we're gonna try to, oh yeah. See, so we'll try to get the bucket right there. But watch this. Maybe not. Oh yeah, there we go. Now she's coming pretty good. So maybe there's just an air pocket or something, right? I definitely didn't want to stick my lips all over that insulation up there, so. Okay, so we'll start gluing this up. This is FlowGuard Gold Medium Yellow All Weather One Step CPVC cement, right? This is primer and glue in one. This is kind of just what I use. It works pretty well. And we're just gonna begin. Let's make sure you get up in there, a nice thin coat around the whole thing. It's like regular PVC or ABS or anything else. You wanna give it a quarter turn. You wanna hold it, you wanna make sure it doesn't pop out. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to glue uh, this piece on here. Just make sure it's back away from all that insulation. Get yourself a nice coat on there. One side of your coupling. God, don't lose it. Okay, so it didn't go on right away. Make sure you re-glue. If you see an edge that is not covered, just make sure you put some more glue on it. Quarter turn. You can wipe the access off there a little bit. We're gonna stick this piece of pipe right through here, and then we're gonna glue here and glue here, and then we'll just stick that in there. That way that's gonna work. We're not gonna get glue all over that and we'll get it set up. And then we can actually just come right here. We can cut this for the proper length that we need, okay? You see this right here? We need to get a measurement from here to the bottom of this board because that's where this next 90 is gonna go. So to do that, I mean, I'm just gonna make this very simple and easy to follow along, right? If you take this, and you put this right up against it because that's essentially where that's gonna go. Go to about two and a half right there. I didn't bring a pencil with me, but then we just got this ratchet cutter, right? Cuts pretty straight lines. As long as you kind of let it set there and put it in the cradle, it's gonna cut it nice and flush and just be hooked up. All right, so now we put this side in here with this right here and all glued up. It should actually be right at the same height as that. But now that we actually have this right here in place, now I can cut this piece right here to length. So now to get this length right here, what we're gonna do is we're actually just going to measure this other pipe right here. So off of this board, 
over to right here will tell us exactly what this pipe needs to be cut to. All right, so if we come up here and we go to right there, that right there needs to be cut to two and three quarters off of the stud. Come to right here. I didn't bring a pencil, so we'll just go to right there. Mm, nice. Just dropped that tape measure in the bucket. Well, I kind of made a mark right there, so let's see if our mark is correct, and then we can go ahead and cut it. Two and three quarter. Our mark right there is perfect. So, that's awesome. Glad that worked out for us. Okay, and because this is a new glue joint, you just want to hold on to that pipe. Get that cut off. And there we go. All of our measurements are now cut and we're ready to glue this up. Okay, so now we're gonna have to glue this, this, we're gonna have to glue these three joints at the same time to get turns on everything, right? So my plan is to really quickly put glue here, 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 here everywhere. And then we're going to put this on here, put this there, and we're gonna take this and we're going to put this in both of these and then give this a final turn after everything is in place. And that should work out. Okay, so this goes in here, this goes in here, this goes in here like that, and then, no, dang it, stupid thing, gosh, dang it. Okay. okay. All right, let's try that one more time. glue there let's put some glue in there glue there glue there glue there glue there glue there okay this goes in here this goes in here down to there that goes like that and that gets a turn. Okay, we got everything where we wanted it. Whew. Okay, so it says, for temperatures above 60, allow one hour cure for cold water applications. Allow six hours for hot water applications. So we're, got, we're not gonna wait the six hours. We're actually not gonna put hot water back in the line. We're gonna put cold water in the line. We're gonna drain the tank and we're gonna put cold water in. We're not actually gonna turn this back on and my friend can turn it back on in the morning. So we still have everything open and now we're gonna crack this. We're just gonna open it until we start hearing a little bit of water come out. 
Okay, so you wanna make sure all your faucets and everything are still open when you turn your water back on here. That's gonna alleviate the water hammer. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna go around, we're gonna open everything on the bottom floor, then I'll have them slowly shut everything on the top floor, and we'll make sure nothing's leaking in the crawl space. Okay, so we got a little bit of water coming out here. Now we'll just close that. All right, so that's looking good. There's no leaks, there's no nothing going on there. The last thing you wanna do is turn your shutoff valve back on the whole way, right? It, uh, it was already on for the most part. We just wanna open it up the rest of the way and put the lid back on the box and we're all good. The fan's been blowing for about four days. Everything's good. It's all dried up. And okay, so the fan's been blowing for four days now. Everything is all dry up underneath there. Everything looks good. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the insulation back in here and get on out of here. Okay, I just wanted to show you what was going on there. Looks like it was a little bit of stress and not a good glue joint. So, happens. All right, folks, so I don't really like CPVC, all right? I know that a lot of people will just shark bite fix those these days, and maybe I should have just done that as well. But I don't know, I'm a fan of glue, let it dry. Just make sure you stick with the dry times. I really hope the video helps. You guys could please subscribe, click that like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. You have any questions, please hit me up, Facebook, or YouTube, I'd love to help you out. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again real soon.